if you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill could pass nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Good evening. Professor Slabs here, and you just tuned into another episode of Slab Life Fishing. As you guys can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm fishing in a very, very tough situation. Okay? Found this pond that I'm fishing in right now last week with a group member of mine, Nicholas Alexander. Nicholas Alexander, if you watch your brother, you know where I'm at. Okay? Only thing bad about this pond, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only limited to this little area right here, as you guys can see. I'm stuck under this old oak tree, okay? And it's overhanging in the water. So I'm only able to underthrow. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get a bobber and some worms and pitch it up under these trees and under these little zones right here, okay? And catch some fish, even though you got all type of things all around. Okay, when the world gives you lemons, ladies and gentlemen, you make lemonade. So I'm finna show you guys how to make lemonade today out of lemons, ladies and gentlemen, and put in some of these nice slabs. So y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Slab life, baby. Let's get them. Let's get back out there. That's all I'm doing. I'm just pitching it just like that. might lose a couple fish because they got a lot of structure to wrap me around but we ain't gonna let that stop us I actually want to pitch it out a little farther but right there should be fine Decent bluegill. I ain't see the barber go down. I just see him line, just trailing out. <laughs> Decent. Hopefully they get dialed up here soon. First time I got out here, I beat up on them pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Mama Slabs wasn't here to film, but I got the limit. But the evening is young. We just getting out here, so hopefully things heat up here. Y'all stay tuned. Nice oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Number here and shoulders. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let me get started with this thing. I had a good bite earlier today. Get it, I didn't get it on camera, but it broke my little red reel, man. I set hook and it broke. As you guys can see, I had to go in the car and get another one. But same Pete Cadillac. Y'all you know, see my baby over here right now. She out of commission until I get home. And I did catch a tilapia too that was off camera, okay? I got a tilapia too, but that was a, that was a bluegill. Right there, they ain't been biting like they was the first time I came, but. I told them on the slabs, they can turn on at any given time. Sometimes it just require a little patience. Oh, 
gonna get a bite out there, ladies and gentlemen. Harvest down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I got, oh, another fish got on though. After I missed that one, I got something else on here, ladies and gentlemen. This feel like I'm big. Whoa. I done end up hooking something else by accident. Ain't that something? What is this? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's a bass, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. That's my first bass out of here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How's about that, ladies and gentlemen? First bass out of this pond. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Y'all let me get a couple pictures with this beautiful fish right here. Mwah! And I'll be right back with y'all. Slap life, baby! Yeah! Big old bluegill too. He got away. I'm gonna leave that same bait on now. He's starting to get a little active now. Oh, he got away. Oh, that was a nice bluegill too. Look, I'm already getting a little milk. Already got a little bite out of the lazy gentleman. Look at that. Look at that lazy gentleman. Look at that lazy gentleman. Look at that. Look at that lazy gentleman. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Under the tree. Woo. Put in the tree, ladies and gentlemen, looking like the old cow pond out here or something. Look at that. What you talking about? Wow. Ooh, something bit me good, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see me study scratching my little uh, finger? Well, I got caught by one of these under the tree fancies, boy. That's Florida for you. Yeah, we got some uh, creepy crawlers, boy, out here from Mama Slab. After every episode y'all love, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. We're gonna have to put a show together one day. Out of all the, man, if I tell y'all we got so many, I probably got a video two hours long of nothing but un, unput out footage, okay? Me and Mama Slash try to put quality out to y'all, okay? We try to at least put at least seven, eight fish on a video, at least, for you guys to see. We don't like to put out videos that... We only catch one or two fish and things like that, okay? And another thing, we got a lot of videos with some big fish too that we caught with the wind one right and you can barely hear anything I'm saying. I didn't want to put those type of videos out. But one day me and mama gonna put them videos together and we're gonna give them to you because we got some real good lost footage that we never aired because of those reasons. And we're gonna name it that. And also, Mama Slabs herself got plenty of blooper videos she done put together on me too. I doubt if y'all let y'all get that, but we might. Slab like baby. All jokes aside, those things starting to heat up out here a little bit. As you can see, I wasn't able to even put out my other pole yet. I think I'm gonna be able to this time. Let me see, let me see. And as you see what I'm going through, ladies and gentlemen, same thing you will be going through. When you're fishing up under these places, you will be getting snagged on twigs and all type of branches. And if you can guarantee that they hanging on the ground right here, see all these twigs and stuff on the ground, imagine how many out there in the water. This is an old O2 right here. I'm pretty sure she's been dropping limbs out there for years. In Florida, get things called hurricanes, ladies and gentlemen, and tropical storms and things with high wind. And I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of limbs out there, what we call structure in the fishing world, ladies and gentlemen. So don't never fish too deep, like I always tell you when you're fishing under these trees also. Slap, like right, baby. Let's get on out here so you can get enough. I'm getting a bite right here. Straight ahead. I just got something to jingle that barker real good. Oh, he ain't going with it, buddy. He's acting like he wants to. 
You running with it, y'all. I'm putting steel. No, I'm away. He stopped. I think he got it. Should I put steel? No, he just playing with it. He left it alone so far. I'm gonna give it a little tap like that right there and see what happens. Oh, Pete Cadillac is going bye bye those. Okay. I thought it was a little fish. I missed him. You know what I told you guys about the nest ravens, though? Who will come get it from you? You may lose a few baits, too, indeed. But as you guys can see, Get some booze out here in the mix. Oh, that barber went down immediately, ladies and gentlemen. Immediately. They done warmed up now. It's feeding time. Late in the evening. She didn't fall immediately. That's it. Oh, now she's down. Look at that. Back up. That's a little fish. Let's see if a big one comes to get it. Now that's awesome. I got that little one out of the way. I'm glad to put some, some steel in his mouth and throw him over on this side and get him away. Now we're going to see if next has. I'm going to pull a keeper out of that, ladies and gentlemen. But this is absolutely fun right here. I used to do this right here a lot as a teenager, ladies and gentlemen, but only different. I would be leaning like a 15-foot cane pole out there, and it sure enough be fun. The kitchen reels out there up under a tree, man, I love it, because a lot of fishermen don't do it because they scared of losing all the tackle and stuff, which you may do if you're a rookie, you know what I mean? Or you may go out there and get it right off the bat and have a good time. But, tr uh, but trust me, it's a good time to be had. Those bluegill and shark, I just love bedding under trees. As you guys can see. And I tell you, after I release that one, I'm gonna go out there and get a pool. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's that? Oh, that's just a she brim. No, is that? No, that's a shell cracker. First shell cracker of the day, too. Beautiful. Keep my eyes on you. Nice shell cracker though. Same bait, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't gonna put no fresh bait in there. We just gonna rehook it. We gonna pitch it right back. Watch this. Don't try to cast. Pitch it. Just like that. I almost hit that limb right there, but it slid right past it. Let's pitch it. Let's see if I can get this one back here and recast it. Look at that barber again, already just got a bite. He's down. I missed him. As you guys can see things warming up, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder how long it's gonna take me before I sit one of these poles down. It won't be long at day rate. Just around these trees, the type of things you go through. But I love it. Even when I get hooked on Tarzan's vine like this, huh? Thank you very much. You just hold in the place for me. Picture back out there. Picture back out there. Yeah. 
Look at that bar. Oh, really? Look at that. Got some less Raiders out there too. Let's see if they eat this little piece of paper. Barely anything else. Put you right back out there. That box is gone. Whoa. There must be a lot of little small ones out there. They just grabbing it. Like literally right here on the edge, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't even hardly in the water just then. Okay, I'm starting to get a little too anxious, as you guys can see. And I'm starting to get caught up in the mess. So I'm going to take a breath, calm down. And I want you guys to do a stay tuned before I end up being tangled up in a big mess. Slap like, baby. There's a bite right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, he was out there nibbling and nibbling and nibbling. All the fish. I'm gonna, I'd rather just pull my bait away from you and just eat it up like that. Still another little nibble. So if you gotta wait out the storm, we're gonna have some little fish that's gonna come through to us. Oh, that looks more better right there, though. Catch it. Yeah. Chuck it. Yeah, no, but he ain't about nothing, but he dropped that nice and slow. Little youngster right there. Put that little nub out there. Call that a bluegill nipple. Look at that. Ooh, that felt like a nice one, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, man. Oh, man, 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 man. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Y'all see that? Barely in the bait. Look at that. I'm going to push that up on the hook and watch this. I'm going to pitch it right back up. That was a big one there. That wasn't no little baby there. I don't know how I missed it. I felt it. I'm going to push that little next one. Probably missed him. He, he, he had it down and brought it back up. There he goes. There he goes. Good old nibbling. This big boy, he gonna have me in his cat's tail. I can't get him around it. Oh, can I? Oh, got him. Get out of that tree. Get out of there. Get out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Good old nibbling. Can't make this up. Slap like, baby. I ain't the only one. I know it's plenty of y'all living it like me, too. I know y'all living it like me. Y'all living it. Oh, yeah. Should I do it again? Look, 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 look. Do it again. Do it again. I'm going to do it again. Cover that little tip of that hook. Nibble it. Nibble it. Go put the nibble it back out there. We're going to call that the nibbler.
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Little baby. On the niblet, ladies and gentlemen. Say I won't. Y'all see that? Look, 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 look. Close up on him again, baby. I'm going to push that up on the hook. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to put the niblet. A little niblet back out there, y'all. Give it a little twitch right here. See, 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 see. He probably took it off without bike. Oh no, he's still nibbling. He nibbling and nibbling. <laughs> Oh, this barber just gone. Whoa. He was out of sight, out of mind, ladies and gentlemen. He was out of here. I think they about had it with the nipple. I'm going to put a little bit of bait on it. <laughs> That's all to us, actually. I've been waiting on that to happen. Nice fish. Time to do I gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta love it. Even when you're getting snagged in the trees, it's all fun, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day. Especially if you got some fish, it's all fun. Now what you done did while I was gone? <laughs>
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a shell pocket too. Doing the old kitchen room. This is just the one I caught the shell pipe on. Fish and the grass, baby. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Fishing out of the trees, ladies and gentlemen. With a bunch of branches all around, as you guys can see, it can be done. Tangling up, it can be done, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, the moral of the story is, you just have to be a little bit more careful, ladies and gentlemen. Take your time. Don't attack it like the professor does and come out here and just, yeah, y'all seen it, ladies and gentlemen. Come out here, take your time, pitch it how I'll show you guys and you're bound to have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't remember anything, remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, you're not fishing. Slide like baby, it's a lifestyle that I present and bring a lifetime of memories. And you can take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen, Yes, all. Uh, slide like, baby. God bless all y'all. The professor is checking out. If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down for tugging, this thrill could pass to nothing. Yeah, this their life for love it. Cause you're dealing with some fishermen. Slab life, baby. Slab life, baby. Slab nabbit, he done done it again.